going on guys Sergeant Tech Tips welcome to another video on my channel so in today's video we're going to be taking a look at any viewer you can thank them for sponsoring this video they wanted me to show you their software it's a remote desktop connection software I've used a lot of them in the past and this one seems to be a pretty good one I've actually never used it um full disclosure but we are going to be checking it out I'm going to be showing you how to control basically uh, my desktop from my Mac that I have as well as controlling my desktop from my phone so we're going to be doing two separate things that way you guys can see how easy it is um, if you need a, f a really good remote desktop software, it is free. Uh, we're going to see what it does for free, and then we'll see what it does once you pay for it. The one thing I do want to mention is it does actually have a smooth operation. It's supposed to be easy to use. There's no ads. It's a simple page. We're going to test that now. I've got the installer right here. Uh, we there's also a detailed beginner's guide, which you guys can check out. Uh, if you guys want to download this, there will be a link in the description below. It says the free version is powerful, so it's going to be for low-budget users. Uh, if you are a security user or a security freak, it does have 256-bit AES encryption, as well as a built-in firewall to prevent unauthorized access, which I actually might use this personally because I use remote desktop connection software a lot in my time, especially for my server. Uh, they also provide remote technical support, so if you need help yourself, they can assist you. Uh, you've got a low latency, so it's going to be a low latency software. It's supposed to be a fast connection depending on your system. Uh, it might be a little, it might vary depending on your system. If you have an older system, it might struggle a little bit, but it should be pretty well optimized. You also have high quality, so this will assist in being able to see things. Because sometimes when you don't have it, it's really hard to see. Let's go ahead and get it installed. Click yes on the UAC. Go ahead and click install now on the C drive. And that was a very quick installation. So we're just going to click enjoy now. Oh, you've got any viewer. This is a very nice UI, may I add. I looked at some of the pictures and the UI looked neat. Oh, you can't resize it. That's. I mean, you don't really need to resize it. That's big enough. So you've got your, uh, this is the your device ID. You've got your device ID. So this is what you would give the person. Like this is, I would put this in here if they were to give me their ID. And then this is their temporary security code, which you can actually refresh. You can't change this. So uh, don't be trying to connect to my computer. I'll blur that out because I don't want to mess with that. But you also got login so you can log in. So let me go ahead and actually log in. Uh, you can actually use any viewer on any other device. You've got Windows, iOS, and Android. Uh, we are going to test it on Mac OS. I don't know if it'll work on here, but we're going to try. You've also got your devices here. L let me just set this up real quick. That way you guys can see. I'm going to install it on my three devices. I've got my Mac, my main computer, which is my obviously my main machine. It's a Windows-based device. And then I've got my phone, which is a Pixel, so it's got Android. So let me just do that real quick. I'll get it all installed, and I'll show you what it looks like from there. All right, guys. So as you can see, I'm logged in. I've got my email. You guys can see the email anyway. I'll probably blur it out anyway. But as you can see, I'm logged in. I've got the free edition. I've actually got two out of three devices logged in. So you can only have three devices on the free version, which is fine. I've got my phone and my my main PC. The Mac, it doesn't support Mac. So if you're a Mac user, this doesn't support Mac. It does support iOS, and I went into the App Store on my MacBook Pro. It's a, it's not the, it's like a 2015 or 2012, so it's not old, and it would support it if it if it existed, but it doesn't exist. So we're gonna go ahead and do a device. Let's try to connect to my bro. That is sick. Any viewer auxiliary services? Yes. Uh, let me just quickly do here. Turn you on. Allow. It's just going to be able to control my screen. Got it. I can control my phone from my computer. That is cool. So if you guys want to control your phone, uh, this would be a good way to do YouTube videos because I could just... That is cool. Like, I could actually record an entire video just using my phone if needed. And it's got this little Any Viewer thing. So if I click that, I bet that dis that gets rid of the... Yeah, that just, that just gets rid of it. That is freaking cool. That's that's awesome. Like you you would you would think this wouldn't work, but this does work and it's working very well. So you have the ability to control your phone with your computer. Like uh, you can actually change. Oh, you got to have Pro. You can do high speed though. So uh, in order to get 60 FPS, you do have to have the Pro version, and to get high quality, you need Pro. But it looks good for being a free variant. I just can't control my phone anymore. Uh, and you can actually have multiple tabs open, which is really nice because if you if you're someone who like, you could just have this whole window open and have a bunch of tabs for different computers. Now let's try to do that data transfer thing and see if that works. You've also got, your, looks like this is your connection. Okay, so now I can control apps. But yeah, you can control your phone through your computer, which is nice because, what if I, yeah, okay, so it does the screen. And if I click on it and do my fingerprint, it does it. So it's basically just recording the screen. That's all it's doing. But yeah, that's that's how it works from the phone. You're able to control your phone from your computer, and you're able to control your computer from your phone. So let's do the computer from your phone. All right, so it should pop up on screen now. As you can see, I am attempting to control the screen or control my computer, but it's not allowing me to do so. You see, I'm I'm trying to right click and left click, and it's not doing anything. So that's 
it's a very weird thing um there like i said i could be doing something wrong and if that's the case i'm sorry but i'd imagine it probably works we'll connect to a different computer using my phone because i have multiple i have another computer we're going to control on this computer to that computer so let me get that all set up all right guys so i went ahead and set up another computer on my interview any viewer account that way you guys can see it controlling a computer from another computer so if i just go ahead and double click it, it should bring us right into it size but as you can see we've got the computer here you can see i can control it without an issue it is a little laggy um the quality is not amazing yeah you you get you have to pay to get the 60 fps and the high speed which is fine i mean they got to make money somehow but honestly like for free this works fine i really don't think there's an issue with it it works better than you'd expect to be honest with you especially for it being free if you just need something basic this will work fine Alrighty, guys as you can see i went ahead and activated it once you pay for it depending on what you pay for and which determination you pay for uh, you've actually got 10 devices now you can have up to 10 devices which is great because i have a lot of devices i could put this on and i think you probably will have to renew it every once in a while i can give you guys some prices here in a moment go ahead and see if the quality is any better uh, if we just go ahead and do high quality 60 fps you can see it's much smoother now you don't have to worry about any freezing or slowness it kind of looks the same to be honest with you but not fully it's definitely much smoother and i mean this computer i'm connected to isn't the fastest thing in the world too so that could be part of it but it is definitely much smoother uh, let's try to connect to my phone and see if anything's changed i don't think anything's probably changed but it'd still be a good test all right, guys, so as you can see, I'm on the computer now, and I can control the system now. So I, I think you have to pay for it to control your computer from your phone, which is fair. Um, I think a lot of other programs have a free variant where you don't need to do that. So I would highly recommend, I would highly recommend uh, them to have that instead. Because I don't think, I think it's a little more fair to have the ability to control the computer for free from this program. You shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have to wait essentially because i just think it's a little unfair for users who have to pay for the program to control their computer from their phone which might be what they installed the program for that's gonna that's gonna throw a lot of users away it wasn't working for me i could have been doing something wrong but until i activated it it didn't start working so i will point that out otherwise the software is great if you guys want to check it out definitely install it there will be a link in the description below now in terms of a data transfer let's try to do that um let's just do files Okay, so yeah, you can do so. Uh, for example, let's bring Utool over to my desktop. Just a sh shortcut, file transfer. Oh, it's better. And it should be on my desktop now. So if we go to my file explorer, go to my desktop. There we go, Utool's on my desktop. So the file, the, the file transfer does work. It could take a while depending on how much data you're transferring back and forth, but I wouldn't really recommend using this for high data volumes anyway. I would just recommend having an external drive and having data on both drives. Uh, for security reasons i'm sure the data transfer is probably secure enough but it does work um you can actually remove stuff from here which is really cool you just delete things that you, well, you don't have to worry about anything but so that's the data transfer it does work and obviously once you get pro it's going to look a lot better you're going to be able to do data transfers you're going to be able to do everything once you pay for it uh let's check prices out real quick so as you can see i got the prices up here uh you've got free which allows you to have one licensed user obviously i think you'd probably have to get enterprise if you wanted to give it to multiple people but you've got uh, up to three login devices, managed devices, two channels, and two simultaneously sessions. Um, so you're not allowed to have more than two simultaneous sessions, so you can't connect to two different things at once. Uh, if I wanted to like connect to that computer and then connect to another computer through that computer, it just wouldn't work with the free variant. So you can pay about three fifty eight. Uh, okay, so you're actually billed every year, so it's going to be forty two ninety six every year, which isn't bad. You've got uh, you know, ten login devices. You've got 100 managed devices, unlimited channels. You get 24-7 support, high-speed transfer. You get all this stuff. Uh, if you want enterprise, that's going to be about $200 a year. This would be more for a business. Yeah, AOMEI owns them, and I have done videos with them before. So if you guys want to check out their website, I'll put a link in the description just to their normal website. I'll also put the link in the description so you guys can buy the program. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. That's how, that's any viewer, the install and review. So if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like. If you guys did not enjoy this video, drop a dislike. Sorry if this video is kind of all over the place. Um, I haven't recorded on my main computer in a while. I've been recording at work. So if it's all over the place, I do apologize for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, let me you guys want to see for future videos in the comments below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next video and peace out.